friends, you're watching Flavors and it's me Sakshi, your host in Rose. Today in this video, let's make some mouth-watering moon curry which is really easy to make. And instead of moon, you can also use the sprouts that are readily available in the market. And if you're using sprouts, you won't even have to soak them, so it'll be much more easier. This moon ki sabzi is made with all the spices that are readily available in your house and you can make it within minutes. So let's get started. Friends, let's start making a delicious moong curry. This is one of Gujarati speciality dishes which is really easy to make. So let's start making it. So let's turn on the gas and add in oil, about a tablespoon and let it heat up. Let's proceed. So let's add in some mustard seeds about a teaspoon and let them crackle. Just spread the oil all over. You've started to crackle. Alright, so next I'm adding some asafoetida which is hang. About one fourth teaspoon. Next I'm adding the boiled milk. This. Next, time to add in water until all the moon is like drowned in it. Approximate 3 fourth cup. Alright, so for the moon, I took 1 fourth cup of raw moon and I soaked and washed it and then I soaked it in double water for about 30 minutes and then uh, I put it in the pressure cooker and boiled it until 6 to 7 whistles and then now you can use the moong let's add in all the other ingredients salt to taste red chilli powder for that spice about 1 teaspoon and some haldi half a teaspoon and some coriander and cumin seed powder 3 4 teaspoon stir it in all the masalas and the flavors this sabji or curry is really easy to make and next I'm adding in about 1 tablespoon of chopped tomato this tomato take really less time to cook so I'm adding it in the end now let it cook until some of the water evaporates. Adding in about half a teaspoon of sugar to balance all the flavors. It's been about 4 minutes now. I'm going to cover it and cook it so that the tomatoes get cooked. Alright, so it's been about 1 to 2 minutes. That seems fine. Time to end the dish, add again just a few drops of lemon juice. So this is ready. This is how it is made, like really gravy. Now if you want it a bit dry then you can add in less water. So now let's off the gas and serve it. Just before serving, you can add in about a tablespoon of coriander and stir it in. to serve. Let's take a serving bowl and serve it in it. Top the delicious moon curry with a bit of coriander leaves and it's ready to serve. You can have it along with roti or parathas and it, or you can even eat it normally just like it. It's really delicious and tastes fat. This moong ki sabzi is a must try recipe and it's really easy to make. If you think of giving it a try, do tell us how it turned out in the comment section below. You can also log on to our Facebook page for much more interesting videos and recipes. And don't forget to subscribe. Till then, it's me Sakshi signing off. Goodbye!